In this video, we'll be testing four of the most popular Fram filters with a RIG 2.0. We'll be testing their flow restriction, sending them to the lab to see their filtering performance, and opening them up to inspect their build quality. Whether you love them or you hate them, our unbiased testing will reveal their true performance. If you want to see how these filters stack up and find out which one takes the crown, then stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to our oil filter showdown series, where we put viewer suggested oil filters to the test to find out which one's the best. Did you know that Fram has been in the filtration game since the roaring 1930s? Yes, you heard that right. Frederick Franklin and T. Edward Alden, the dynamic duo behind the company's name, pioneered the very concept of easily replaceable cartridge filters, a game changer that set the course for decades to come. Fram offers a wide range of oil filters catered to different driving conditions, but today we'll be taking a look at their most popular offering. For our first test, we want to see how restricted each of the filters are at different flow rates simulating operating temperatures. So for our first contender, we have the infamous Fram Extra Guard, coming in with a price of $3.88 and offering 10,000 miles of protection and claiming to filter out 95% of particulates above 20 microns. You know it's earned quite a reputation when people affectionately refer to it as the orange can of death. Well, it turns out the nickname emerged from a mix of humorous exaggeration and the occasional but hey, we're here to separate fact from fiction and help you make the right decision. The Fram Extra Guard has a differential pressure of 2.4 psi at 3 gallons per minute and 16.5 psi at 11 gallons per minute. For our second contender, we have the Fram Tough Guard coming in with a price of $7.17 and claiming to protect your engine for 15,000 miles and filter 99% of particulates above 20 microns. The Fram Tough Guard has a differential pressure of 2.3 psi at 3 GPM, and as we increase the flow rate, it goes all the way up to 16.2 psi at 11 gallons per minute. For our third contender and past contestant, we have the Fram Ultra Synthetic with a price of $8.97 and claiming to protect your engine for 20,000 miles and filter up to 99% plus for particulates above 20 microns. The Fram Ultra Synthetic has a differential pressure of 1.7 psi at 3 GPM and as we increase the flow rate, it goes all the way up to 11.5 psi at 11 GPM. And lastly, we have the new Fram Endurance, a Walmart exclusive with a price of $12.97 and claiming to protect your engine for 25,000 miles. Please don't wait 25,000 miles to change your oil filter. The Fram Endurance has an impressive differential pressure of just 1.4 psi at 3 GPM and 11.1 .1 at 11 GPM. As you can see, the Endurance dominated in this test with the Ultra Synthetic not far behind. The Extra Guard and the Tough Guard were highly restrictive. Now, why is that? Isn't a filter that supposedly filters more generally more restrictive? Well, not exactly. It's dependent on the material that the filter media is made out of. The Extra Guard and the Tough Guard have a cellulose-based filtering media. Yeah, it's blended with fibers, but its main component is cellulose, or in other words, paper. The Endurance is a fully synthetic media. You see, cellulose fibers are natural and irregular in shape, leading to a denser and less uniform filter matrix. These irregularities cause cellulose media to create convoluted paths for oil to flow through, resulting in a higher resistance to flow. In contrast, synthetic media is engineered with precision. Its uniform and controlled fiber structure allows for a more consistent and predictable pore size distribution, enabling efficient filtration while also offering lower flow resistance. This engineered uniformity reduces the pressure drop across the filter, making synthetic media less restrictive than cellulose to the oil flow. If this video has been useful to you, a like would be greatly appreciated. For a second test, we'll be testing the filter's restriction simulating a cold engine startup at 38 degrees Fahrenheit or 3 degrees Celsius. The Extra Guard has a differential pressure of 13.6 psi at 3 GPM and 43.6 psi at 11 GPM. The Tough Guard comes in with 12.5 psi at 3 gallons per minute and 40.7 psi at 11 gallons per minute. The Ultra Synthetic comes in with 8.7 psi at 3 GPM and 41.1 psi at 11 GPM. 
The Endurance comes in with the lowest differential pressure at 3 GPM with 8.4, but the highest differential pressure at 11 GPM with 44.5 PSI. As you can see in this graph, the Ultra and the Endurance were neck to neck at the beginning, but then they diverge. Why is that? Notice the distinct inflection points in the graph where they shift from exponential as seen in the hot fluid simulation to linear. This transition occurs when the bypass valve opens and the subsequent graph segment reflects the restriction imposed by the open bypass valve. Consequently, our rankings will be based on the initial portions of the graph. For our next test, we'll be evaluating filtering performance and capacity. After repeating the entire prepping procedure that we explained in our first episode of this series, we ran four batches of test dust through each of the filters. We collected our samples, and send them out to an oil testing laboratory to evaluate their filtering performance. While we wait on those results, let's run our capacity test. In this test, we continually introduce test dust until the initial differential pressure increases by 8 PSI. On this head-to-head, -head, the Fram Endurance had the least capacity at just 4.4 grams. The Fram Extra Guard came in third with 4.51 grams, in second place, the Tough Guard with a capacity of 5.83 grams, and the winner is the Fram Ultra Synthetic with a capacity of 6.6 .6 grams. So why measure differential pressure to determine the capacity? Well, in the context of an oil filter, differential pressure refers to the difference in pressure between the inlet and the outlet of the filter. As particulates build up on the oil filter, it creates more resistance for the oil to flow through. This creates unequal pressure on each side of the filter. The dirtier the filters become, the more unequal the pressure gets, resulting in a higher DP. If you want a full breakdown on how we're performing all these tests, make sure to go check out our first video in this series. And the lab results are in. Like in our previous video, particles are divided into three separate categories. Particles between 21 and 38 microns, particles between 38 and 70 microns, and particles greater than 70 microns. The Fram Extra Guard has 1,563.3 particles between 21 and 38 microns per milliliter, 202 between 38 and 70 microns, and 101.4 greater than 70 microns. The Tough Guard has 570, 1.6, and 0.4. The Ultra Synthetic did well with 34, 2.7, and 0.7. And as expected, the Fram Endurance dominated with only 17.9, 2, and 0.3 particles, taking the lead from the Purolator Boss from our first video. Now, let's take a look inside of these filters to see their differences. The Fram Endurance has a silicone drain back valve synthetic media with a stitch joint and a very thick outer casing. The only complaint I have here is the amount of glue used. The Ultra Synthetic has a good all-around construction with a silicone drain back valve, the signature Fram sure grip on the outer casing, and a synthetic blend media with a metal crimp joint. The Fram Tough Guard has a silicone drain back valve, an extremely thin outer casing, and a cellulose media with an impressive metal joint. Now, to address the elephant in the room, the end caps on the Tough Guard are not cardboard, but rather resin impregnated fiberboard, and all they're there for is to glue onto the filtering media to prevent clean oil from mixing with unfiltered oil. The Fram Extra Guard has a silicone drain back valve, a very thin steel casing, and once again a cellulose media with a metal crimp joint. It also has a similar resin impregnated fiberboard. Although, right here you can see a gap that could potentially lead to unfiltered oil mixing with clean oil. In comparison, the Endurance gasket is way thicker than the rest of the Fram. The Endurance filter media is clearly thicker and similar to the Purolator we tested on our last video. Like always, we're not sponsored by any of these companies, and we're using all of our proceeds to improve our quality of our tests and videos. So if you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing or even buying us a beer in the link down below. Here are the final results for our ongoing oil filter showdown series. As you can see, the Purolator boss took the lead from the Fram Endurance and the Ultra Synthetic edged out the Royal Purple. So in conclusion, is the extra guard as bad as they say? Well, it's not great. It's pretty restrictive, filtering performance is terrible, and build quality is cheap and potentially dangerous. So in order to protect your big investment, 
just go ahead and put in a Fram Ultra or even better, a Fram Endurance. On our next episode, we'll be testing the most requested oil filter, the Amps Oil. If you want to know how the Wix XP and the Purelator stack up, go check out the first episode. As always, links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.